so I'm now one month in Australia again. Back in Australia. Well, a year ago, I would have never imagined this. I missed it. I always felt I had outgrown my teenage years here in Australia a few years ago. So I'd say, I become an adult in Australia, Melbourne. But honestly, I don't know if it really is so. I feel like it's has the vibe of Denmark a bit over here. The Kuki Beach, like with the sand dunes, dunes, however you would say it, and there's grass all over. Well, there's also a region here in WA that is called Denmark. So, the past weeks here in Australia have been quite exciting to me because I have actually never been in Perth, um, neither in Western Australia. So. I've got a lot of new things to explore and I actually haven't done as much as I wanted to do because after two weeks I already started working um, because my, I don't know, like this anxiety hits in that I have to work even if I would love to take myself more time in arriving but on the other hand I know Australia and I know the system and how things work so it is quite easy for me to just jump back in again and working in hospitality I used to work in hospitality all over the time or most of the time here in Australia and now I'm back I I'm okay with it, but it's not my favorite anymore. I think I have changed a bit. I felt straight away that I have to cut my hours because I just couldn't do it with a full-time job. I just need time to arrive still or time to adapt to everything. I don't know, I've been out of the role over a year, so I just give myself some time, I guess, and let's see where it goes. I think sometimes you need to, like, yeah, just go for things you feel and not for the money, um, which is hard. Recently, I have learned my mornings are very in need of a routine, of a constant routine. Waking up at 4 or 5 a.m. ish is very challenging for me at the moment. Feeling stressed out in the morning makes me feel so grumpy and I would hate my day so much that I have to take care of that and be very mindful of my early morning routine. So waking up with a five minute stretch, getting ready, drink half a liter water, pack my food like a smoothie or juice and I'll prepare a coffee or tea for my train ride. I'll be mostly listening to meditation music in the morning and I try to start off my day without the phone. Believe me, this is very challenging to me and as I would love to start my day with consciousness and not just being busy all the time at the phone, I am trying to journal to keep my mind occupied or organize my day, my week, just writing down my thoughts. And today it's actually just a really beautiful day. It is winter, but it's about, I don't know, 20 degrees or 17 Celsius. And I've decided to go for a bike ride and just went a bit off the like main area and tourist area. And there's the beach. Oh, a plane. Wow. 
what is home? And what is home to you? In Germany, we have a word, Heimat. That actually means more than home. It is the place you grow up, perhaps the space you are safe and with your family, something familiar, like a warm hug. Now I have a home, a place to live, but my heart is home in already four places. So sometimes I miss these places a lot, the smell, the air, but I have learned this is what you pay for if you are having a nomadish lifestyle. So do not get attached, I tell myself, but mostly I will, because I love and I fall in love so easily as life is crazy.